Good evening. I'm sorry I've been away. It's been really busy around here lately. But today I would like to show you something that I got not too long ago. This is, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's a shoe shine caddy. And it's made of wood. And it's solid wood. I'm not really sure how old it is. I got this at an estate sale. I've been looking for one like it for a while, but I hadn't quite found one that was exactly what I wanted, so I held out, and then I found this one, and I was really happy to find it, because it's, it is solid wood. I'm not sure what kind of wood, but it's very heavy duty, and it holds all my things, all my shoe shine things. I started shining shoes for my dad when I was a kid. He was in the Navy Reserves for probably 25 years. And whenever he had to go away uh, for a Navy Reserve weekend or for two weeks, one of my jobs was to polish his boots. And he had these black leather uh, boots that he had to wear. And my job was to make sure that they were polished and, and looking really good. So my dad taught me from the time I was probably five how to shine shoes, and I still do shine shoes. I shine my own, and I shine my husband sometimes when he asks me really nice, and um, it's just a very satisfying thing to do, to take a pair of scuffed up shoes and, and make them look nice and shiny again. So here's my box. It's, it's fairly heavy. And it's got a, a ridge, feels like a, a rubber ridge on the top. And the whole thing's made out of wood. I'm going to try to move it so you can see the side. Okay, here's the side. I don't know if this was handmade or not. I'm not really sure. I don't think there's a name on it. But you open it this way. And there are little holes here. We have these little metal hinges, and you can tell it sounds hollow inside, but I actually have everything in here, and I have to stack it in a certain way or it won't all fit. So you pull it back like that, and it opens up, and you can lay it down like this, or you can leave it out a little bit. I usually just pull it back far enough to get out whatever I need. looks kind of dark, but we can also open this side. Oh, I can smell the polish. <laughs> it opens up on this side, too. Like that. And there's a ridge in the middle with notches where these pieces sit right there like that so it doesn't fall through. And I have lots of good things in here. One thing I have is this, and most of my shoe polish is Kiwi, just because that's what my dad always used, and so that's what I use. And this one is a brown shoe polish. It says it shines, nourishes, and protects. And all these little Kiwi polishes in the different colors come in these metal containers, if you've ever seen them. I don't think most people shine their shoes anymore which is kind of a shame because it does help take care of your shoes and makes them last longer and it's really easy to do it's really not that hard at all and there's a little piece on the side it's kind of like a wing nut right here and it's loose and what you do is you push down to hook it under this slit like this and you turn it and it pops open and then you take the lid off and you see the polish it's very dark and it's kind of um it's not really greasy but you wouldn't want to get this on your clothes uh, it doesn't wash out too well especially if it kind of gets ground in it's um probably going to stay this. I try to do it quietly. Sometimes
sometimes they snap. They make a snap sound. And and when you get down towards the bottom, the polish kind of starts to break up. But that's okay. It doesn't mean it's gone bad. You can still use it. And what you do, you um, I have applicators for these, and I have different applicators. I have one just for clear or neutral polish, and one for darker polish, like a brown or black. So I'm going to set the brown to the side. And I'll just get these other two big ones here since they're kind of in the way. <laughs> this one, this is, is a bigger container. It's also metal, made by Kiwi. And it's a mink oil. And I don't really use this very much. Um, and it conditions and waterproofs smooth leather. I got these for a pair of hiking boots that I have. And I try to put some mink oil on them at least once a year. Uh, I really love my boots and they don't make them anymore. So I try to take good care of them so they'll last. I've had them now for, um, let's say about probably close to 17 years. And they're still doing great. But I use mink oil and I also polish them at least twice a year. And they look good. So this is a bigger container. And then, if you don't know how to use these products, on the back are instructions, and it shows you and tells you exactly what you do. So it's, it's really easy. So there's the mink oil. And this is the one that I am most familiar with. It's almost empty. It's very light. It's, it's black shoe polish. This is what I always used on my dad's boots. And I have a lot of black leather shoes and boots, so I use a lot of this. I've about used this one up. It's very, very dark. You don't want to get this on your clothes or a carpet or towels because it really stains. Uh, but it does the job. It does what you want it to do. It makes your, makes your leather look wonderful. Um, what you do. I'll show you what you do first. I'm going to put this one to the side. There's more polish in there, but I want to get these brushes out of the way first. So I'm going to show you the steps that you take in a moment after I get the brushes out. This is my first brush. Um, this is a Kiwi brush. It is a 100% horsehair brush. And I use this one on brown leather. I don't know if you can really see, but um, if you could see the way I do, the bristles are have a brownish tint. I try to use this one on brown leather, and I have a lot of brown leather uh, boots and shoes too. And it has a solid wooden handle. Doesn't really make much noise. <laughs> so it's very sturdy, very durable, pretty soft, a little bit scratchy, but that's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. We'll come back to the big the brushes in a minute, and I'll show you the order in which you use these things in case you've never polished any shoes before. Um, let me just move to, to the side for a second. On this side, I have my, <laughs> my giant brush. This one is very old. And this one actually came with this, this shoe shine caddy. I'm not really sure how old it is. It says service professional, 100% horsehair, and it's curved. See, it's curved, whereas my other brush is straight. I'm not sure if it came this way or if it's just been used that much. I'm guessing it probably was a little bit curved when they bought it. Um, this, it's very big. For me, it's a little bit too big. Um, I haven't used this brush yet. I just used the shorter ones, but I just thought it was really cool. So I keep it in my caddy with my other stuff. I don't really know what else to do with it anyway. And I'll show you that I also have two more smaller brushes. I have this one, which is... <laughs> I haven't used this one in a while. It's very soft. Um, and I would probably use this on a lighter color leather. It's also from Kiwi. 
but I don't do much. Um, I don't really only have one pair of lighter color, color leather shoes, and I don't really wear them much, so I don't, <laughs> they don't, you know, get scuffed up or anything. So I don't use this one much. Let's see, yes, this is an older one. And I'm guessing that this is probably horse hair, too. It makes a nice little swishy sound on my fingers. Okay, there's that one. And I have one more brush. This is the one I use the most. This one is also Kiwi. And I use this for my black leather. And it's important not to use... Um, I try to keep my black and brown separate because I don't want to take a brush that might have black polish left on it and running over a brown shoe because it might leave little speckles and streaks of black where I don't want them, especially if it's a lighter brown. And it might look funny. And this one is also made of horse hair. Solid wooden handle. And nobody should have this many brushes. It really is ridiculous. Okay. And I also have three more polishes and then I'm going to show you the steps. Um, this is a neutral polish. This one you can use on anything. If you have a funny color leather, it's like a strange shade and you don't know what to use, you can't find a, a, a polish that's exactly the same color, you can use this. I'll show you what it looks like. See? Now, <laughs> I'll admit, um, I got a little brown in here. <laughs> That was, um, that was my fault. I'll probably wipe this out before I use this again, especially if I use it on something very light, but chances are I'll probably use it on a brown anyway, a light brown, so it probably wouldn't hurt too much, if I, even if I didn't take it out. Remove it before I stuck my brush in there. Oops. Well, I am not firing on all cylinders tonight. Sorry about that. And see, again, we have instructions on here and if you still don't know what to do there's even a 1-800 number on here that you can call and you can get more information and there's a website www.kiwicare.com which I've never looked at because really once you learn how to do this you don't really I am so sorry I, you know what I'm just gonna set that down <laughs> I apologize once you learn how to polish you don't really need a lot of help Oh my. Oh, I have another brush. Sorry, I forgot this was even in here. What is this? This is, um, this is a clothes brush. I think this is one of the ones that came with the, the um, this thing. It's a little more coarse than the others. I probably shouldn't leave this in here. I don't think it's for shoe shines. I think this is for when you need to remove lint from your clothes. You know, I could do a whole video on my lint brush collection, too. I'm, I'm really starting to think I'm a hoarder because I have collections of everything. I probably have five or six, no, I probably have closer to ten lint brushes, but we'll, we won't worry about that right now. Last shoe polish is just a smaller container of black. I really don't know why I would buy this if I still had that big container, but apparently at some point I decided I needed a little one. And they're all in metal containers. I've never seen them in plastic or anything like that. And if you're interested in looking for shoe polish, you can really go to any Target or Walmart. You can go to a shoe, a shoe store um, and find these, these things. And, and Kiwi makes other products. And they make a, um, a liquid polish, which I have tried. I wasn't really fond of it. Um, I still prefer the old-fashioned tin of polish. This just, to me, works the best. And... And I figure if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I just keep using that. Oh my. One more black one. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe I am a hoarder. I have lots of the same thing. That's, that's pretty sad. And a pair of shoelaces. <laughs> I think this actually came with the box, too. I don't believe the box came with any polish, but you know what it might have. I've had it for a while. So, what you do, you have these little brushes, and I'll hold up two of them for you to see. These little brushes, and, and they look pretty, 
pretty dark and, and messed up. That's because this is the brush. And I'm gonna use this as the one I use for black. And what you do, you would open the polish up. You take your brush and you don't have to press down hard. You just kind of massage the bristles around in the, in the polish till you get a nice little coat on your brush. And say this is my shoe right here. What you do, you work the polish into the leather, getting into the creases, around the edges, and on the sides. And you work it in and when you do this it won't look shiny it will look very it will have a sort of a matte finish to it and that's okay that's the way it's supposed to look by that matte finish you know where your polish is you know what you've what you've what areas you've worked the polish into so you go over every surface of that shoe or boot or whatever you're polishing and you cover it completely take your time and if your brush starts to feel like there's nothing on it, you just go back to your polish, do this again, put some more on there, and keep on working. I polished a pair of cowboy boots with this today, and that's when I decided maybe I could do a video about it. I thought, hey, I'll show people my shoe polish collection. I mean, how many, <laughs> how many people have that anymore? People under 80, probably not many. <laughs> so. So you've got your polish on and it's nice and, you know, not shiny. Then what you do is you take your brush, take your brush, and now you're gonna lightly buff over the surface like this. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And as you do it, you will see the surface start to become shiny. And you just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until it's all nice and shiny, just the way you want it. And if there's an area that still shows a little scuff or a mark, you can always come back with some more polish, work it in there again, you know, do a better job getting it in that spot. And you come back with your brush and just go back and forth, back and forth. And a lot of times you have little scuffs and marks that look like they just disappear. And if you're lucky, when you're done, it'll look like a brand new shoe. And I've had people come up and ask me, my goodness, Mary, where did you get those beautiful shoes? And I would say, well, I've been wearing these shoes for years. You've seen me in these shoes and they just don't believe me. And they'll say, what did you do? Did you take them and get something done? So I say, no, I just polished them. And they look at me like I'm crazy, but hey, it works. And, and polish, this stuff is not expensive at all. It's really not. And it goes a long way. I mean, you, there's no telling how long I've had some of this polish. I've, I've had it for years, and I haven't used it up yet. So, that's everything in my little collection. So, I'm going to put it all back. I'm going to put these little ones down here. But I have to do it in a certain way or it won't fit. I won't have room for everything. Let's see now, what else was there? There was a little brush here. Right here. Well, perhaps not that brush. Maybe this brush. It looks a little shorter. Okay. And I'm going to just set these two strings right here. And then I'll put this brush in. I'm going to try not to clang and bang around too much. Now, normally when I'm putting my polish and everything back, I'm not this delicate with it. I just kind of fling it in there. Um, the little brushes. Oh, don't forget the big brush. Don't forget the big brush on this side. It's quite large. Alright, and now we're going to put these little brushes back.
is my mink oil. My big black shoe polish. Uh oh. Okay. And the one that I couldn't get the lid on because I'm. No. Okay. That's good enough. Right here. You do want to make sure to put the lids back on these because they can dry out. That's why it's important to always make sure the lid is on there nice and tight. And that's everything. So we're going to close it back up. One side. And the other side. Now see, here's the problem I run into. This big brush fishes on that door. It's a very simple little, little thing. I love it because it keeps it all together. Before I found this, I just had everything in a great big Ziploc bag. And it was just, I wanted something neat to keep it all together. And I was very happy to find this because this is what I've been looking for. I was very excited to buy this. It's the only thing I bought at that estate sale. I didn't see anything else I wanted. you enjoy my video. I do apologize for the last video I posted the um <laughs> the makeup tackle box. Um my phone died, my battery died and I, I the stuff that came out of my mouth after that video abruptly stopped would not be um conducive to ASMR. So um I, I am sorry about that. I, I thought I had more battery life than I actually had and it, it died on me before I was done with my collection. Um, I do hope sometime in the near future to um, try a different method of recording these videos. My husband has a nice camera with a, um, and, and, and it also does video, and it records in stereo. I haven't had a chance to really play around with it yet, but I am going to try to as soon as I can and see what kind of videos I can make with that. But for right now, I'm stuck with just uh, using my phone, so... That's all I got, so I'll just work with what I've got. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.